Hi everyone, let's talk about Suburbia Collector's Edition. So I already did a playthrough for original Suburbia and its expansions, and now a new one for the Collector's Edition. If you'd like to know what I think about just Suburbia in general in more detail, then there's a first impression for that. Maybe it'll be up on the screen, that corner. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just about the Collector's Edition itself. So I'm a big fan of Suburbia. We, Rachel and I really, really love it. Even, you know, Castles of Mad King Ludwig, the kind of spiritual successor, did a lot of uh, interesting things that we really enjoy, like different uh, sizes of tiles and things, brings that whole thing into the equation. You know, having uh, moats around it, collecting the swans and stuff. As much as we love all of those additions and stuff, there's something about kind of the simplicity, the simcityness of uh, Suburbia that always brings us back and keeps uh, keeps both of them around. And the expansions to Suburbia as well, adding the borders, the star system, some some really, really great things that are all included in the collector's edition as well. So I've only got the, the retail, I say only, I've got the retail edition of the uh, the collector's edition, uh, which is still a substantial amount. It's, uh, it's everything, really, that's come out for Suburbia. You know, not only the game and both of those big expansions, it's got, you know, Essen promo tiles, it's got other promo tiles included, it's got some brand new promo tiles as well, some of which... You know, the, if with the Kickstarter, I believe you could select your own player colours. So it had a huge range and you could select your own. You could even order all of them if you wanted. Uh, and for each of those player colours, it came with a different new special promo tile. So the retail version comes with four different colours and the tiles that applied to them. So yeah, there's, there's more of that that would have been in the Kickstarter. And as well, a, a brand new expansion, Nightlife. And that's, if you haven't seen the playthrough, go watch that, it's brilliant. Uh, I did a solo playthrough for just the base game Suburbia and its new expansion, Nightlife. And so, so Nightlife is, it's, it's quite a small expansion really. It's, it's, just, it's just tiles rather than you know, the new five star system or the borders and you know, it, it interacts with all of that stuff, and it's a nice addition. You know, it's it's one of those things where I, c I can completely understand, and you know, I'd kind of think that you know, it's it's locked away in the collector's edition. If you're if you've got Suburbia, like like we've got, we've we've got the original and the expansions and stuff. We've got you know the wooden insert and stuff to organize it all nicely. If we want nightlife though, and to keep having that complete edition, you have to get the collector's edition. So you have to replace it all. And you know, if you really love Suburbia and you're going to get it anyway, it's just a, a, a great added bonus. But I can see you know the the other side of people that want to have everything that have now got to rebuy it all. That's a bit of a shame. But at the same time, you know the if if this was to come out for old suburbia the tiles would all be different and you know it, it's a i can see the bigger cost coming in there of having to you know have the original artist do all of the art for these tiles to match the old system and stuff it's yeah it's there's there's no there's no clean way out of that situation by changing the look of it and that is a uh, it's 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 got this really nice sleek clean look to it now then the graphic design was always lovely in suburbia and the the art, artwork never had any complaints at all with it but yeah it's it's definitely been elevated in the new version i really like the score track as well i like the extra touch of instead of it just being red bars between you know the 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 gates that knock you down your reputation and income they're now uh, little red houses and it's like an aerial view of houses that uh, jigsaws together. I miss having the old board that used to kind of slot together with um, all of the coins and stuff on it, but, you know, <laughs> I don't miss it when I've got all of those fancy game trays holding everything and then the lids to those game trays, you know, one's got the goals on it, one's got the borders on it, and then the, the main beautiful thing with its special cardboard skyscraper for holding all of the tiles that are coming up for yeah some really great uh, little enhancements to you playing and setting up which is you know the idea of those game trays in the first place but i think they're done absolutely beautifully in this i'll say the the only little downside is that i feel that the the text size is smaller in this new version and you know for us anyway we found it a little harder to read than that um, that problem didn't uh, didn't occur to us in uh, in old suburbia uh, but yeah it's it does uh, it it's got an even better presence on the table now so yeah the the game trays are all great it's it's a downside for missing out on the new expansion and there's there's that kickstarter stuff that you're just missing out on uh, i wonder if um, maybe bezier games will make some of that stuff available but 
yeah, it's 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 always the thing, isn't it, with Kickstarter exclusives that if you weren't the person backing, then of course you don't think it's a good idea because there's no stuff that you're locked out of. But at the same time, it's an incentive to get people to back so that the thing gets made in the first place. But you know, those those different player colours aren't so much of a thing. The extra tiles that came with those player colours, that's a shame as well. But not huge things. I'm fine with the colours that are in there and having any bonus tiles. But the the other thing is like it, it's it's you got wooden pieces for, you know, you certain types like skyscrapers and airports and schools and things that um, is important not just for you to keep track of but for everybody to keep track of and to be able to see at a glance what people have got there would be like a little wooden skyscraper that you would stand up on your skyscraper tile so that at a glance everybody can see okay I'll just count the meeples rather than trying to find the symbols throughout the tiles that and you might miss some things I think that is such a nice extra touch and that is the kind of thing where you know, so maybe works the same as it ever did without those, but knowing that they're out there, I think they would be a really nice enhancement. And I know it's you know, work and stuff, even if they were standees, it would be a nice thing to have on there. It doesn't make the game work worse than it ever did. It works uh, just as well and just as beautifully as it always did. But I feel like that kind of enhancement, that would really smooth out the gameplay. But maybe that's the kind of thing that'll be available later. Uh, yeah, it's it's just kind of... It's it's like uh, say in in Thunderstone Quest where you open the rule book and it's like okay you you haven't got Quest three that was just Kickstarter exclusive and you're like oh well okay <laughs> I just walked into a shop and bought this that's what's going on with this I didn't I'm being I'm being a hypothetical consumer there I didn't walk into a shop I ordered it online but uh, yeah that's Thunderstone Quest not Suburbia. So we collect edition. I think, yeah, if, if you are, a, you're going to have to be a fan to even consider it in the first place, aren't you? You're not umming and ahhing, you know, having not played Suburbia at all. Maybe you are. You probably find some cheaper copies of Suburbia now that people that uh, upgraded are selling off. But yeah, I, th I think that it's still such a fantastic game and it is given a really, really nice treatment in this. Not just with the new artwork, you know, if you if you got the Kickstarter version, all of those fancy new brilliant components, but the you know game trays, as I've seen in... I think I've only really seen them in Wingspan and... The between two castles of Mad King Ludwig because usually they were they, they I think if I'm not mistaken they were things that you could buy just like a uh, a meeple realty or folded space insert uh, and now certain publishers are you know including them in the base version of the game still Myron and Bezier, I think so far uh, but yeah they they're not just great for kind of organizing and speeding up your setup but they are fantastic in the same way they were for those games that I mentioned, for having the game out and displaying those goals and borders and stuff, having all of the components that you might need, like the, the money and stuff, just at your reach right at the start. You have little components for all of the player pieces, so you just dig into your little thing at the start and you've got all of your pieces set up, your starting tiles, your money. It's all right there, and... Yeah, it's, it's still a bit of, like, it, it doesn't change the fundamental rules of stuff. So the things where, you know, you might have a certain color coming out more than the others. Yep, that's just something you're going to have to deal with. And, you know, adding in uh, all of the expansions can compound that because you're just taking a random selection from each one. But, yeah, it's it's... It's t it's keeping everything that we loved about Suburbia and just uh, making it an, a, a little bit fancier, which really is all the Collector's Edition is going for. If you are you know one of those uh, one of those people that uh, is a fan of Suburbia and you are you know sad that you're missing out on nightlife, I'll say that it's it's a nice thing to have on there, but it's it's not like it's not something that I would go out and get the Collector's Edition for. It's much more all of those other things that. Uh, would be the draw for me. I don't think it's it's not it's it's just more tiles, and you know there are they interact with other nightlife tiles and stuff, and that's uh, that's great, and they interact with the other expansions if you've got them too. Well, you will have in the collector's edition, won't you? But uh, yeah, it, it's not. It's not something like Borders or the Five Star System where you're like, okay, this changes things massively. It's just like, oh, cool, now a refreshing new thing. We've played Suburbia with those things for so long. Now Nightlife's an extra new thing on top. It's not, uh, it's not a game changer like those other things were. But yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself now. I will go on and repeat myself about another game. If you'd like to check out more playthroughs, there's hundreds on this channel. If you'd like to support me making things, it's patreon.com forward slash Thank you very much to everyone that supports the channel. 
and thank you for watching. Bye everyone.